Hello creatives, welcome to Artist Star. My name is Beth and this is a daily pick a card and birthday reading for July 18th. If you are born today after sunrise, you are a 10 of clubs. Before sunrise, you are yesterday's card, which is a jack of clubs. So I'm going to read each card individually and then all together for the collective. Talk about this Ten of Clubs energy today that we are all in. The high vibe, the low vibe, and what we might bump into today. Then we're going to uh, look at the birthday cards for you, Ten of Clubs. This is your solar year cards. They are here to help you help yourself in your manifesting abilities for the year. All right, let's get started and turn over card number one. So we've got the two of clubs. I love the two of clubs. This card is all about making connections. It's you having the time to just get in there and discover brilliance, really. It's your intellectual pursuits, so you're going to get a lot of answers today. You're going to have that ability to just realize something really important is for you to grasp the intelligence of. You're going to just be making some really nice connections. Twos are moon energy. The dark twos, the black twos are emperor. So you've got that added noble reassurance that your connections are going to be around your moon energy. So do check your moon position and see what is there for you and pull that thread. You know, not only what is in that, that position, but where your moon is in those seven planets up at the top of the chart and start making some connections. Look over into the fulfillment strengths and see what your moon is doing. Is it compromised by anything? Um, and find a way around the compromise, right? You'll find your strengths there as well. Your daimon loves to see you going for your Rahu, which is a very interesting position for everyone to take a look at and your ecliptic. You know, the ecliptic is really an interesting path too, especially for a 10 of clubs because you are an ecliptic card. So for you, the ecliptic takes on more of a bigger meaning for you. And realize that that is your path. So what we're all working toward, how we're going to get there from here <laughs> is that ecliptic and the reward for efforts made. Put in the time, put in the measure, you are going to get that back. So for the two of clubs, for you to pick that, that is a really full basket that you are looking at receiving today. And it's going to come in any which way. It might come in the snail mail. It could be an email. It could be you know, something on Facebook, something on the radio, whatever communications you find yourself in today, be on the lookout because you are going to get that energy of uh, bumping up into something that is going to turn out to be a really lovely gift of knowledge. All right, card number two. Oh, we just had the Ten of Spades yesterday in reverse, so I'm glad that it's in the upright position because it's not an easy card. It is walking through hell with a smile. It's you being able to carry your burdens, not lose hope, see the bigger picture, know it's an ecliptic life path journey that you are on and 
the hard knocks are the ones that you learn the most from just is. So go and look in your chart and see where the X is and that will tell you something more about what that burden is going to be for you today and how you might develop the attitude of that smile. Do the hard work around it. Do what you're being asked of and understand that on the bigger path, on the bigger picture thing, you are doing what you need to do to do you. Interestingly, if you are a Ten of Clubs, you've got the Ten of Spades on your Venus. So look to your Venus, see if it's compromised. Where is that in your chart, right? Because it's if it's your Venus is in the sun sign, then there you are. It has to do with you finding a new understanding about who you are, right? At your core, a revelation of sorts. That's going to be a little tougher for you to, to get there. The moon would be around your emotions. If it's the Mars, it's about how you go about getting what you want, <laughs> ways and means, that kind of thing. So the ecliptic path is the big one, though. Go and see what you've got there and pull the thread on it. Let's look at card number three. We've got the eight of spades. So we are looking at chariot energy in this Cancerian piece of time where we are being subruled by Neptune. We're going to be a little more romantic today, you know, that romancing uh, energy, you know, how um, they. they talk about painters being in that romantic period of time where everything is just so beautiful and um, you seeing the good in everything, you know, that, that type of feeling with this period, this deacon of cancer, it is a great place to understand a lovely, beautiful romance with who you are and how you want to show up today. So having that idea that you can show up looking different, you can show up with a different attitude, a different way of being you, right? whether that is an outwardly dress or how you what you put on today and go out or how you show up with a different attitude. It's that kind of deacon, really kind of beautiful because it's you delving into that imaginative abilities that are in this period of time as well, and definitely in today. So get creative, you know, change it up a little bit. Step out and see how you bump up against the energies of the day with that. So you, during this period of time, it's always a really lovely idea to do random acts of kindness as well. They'll take you a long way in feeling good about yourself. All right, eight of spades. This is that chariot energy of being able to ride the, drive the chariot, stay in the seat, be grounded. You've got it going on. You are the ultimate you today, handling things that you didn't think you could, and you are doing it beautifully. That cardinal energy is just with you today. You're seeing the bigger picture. You're knowing how to get there. You're grounded. You are feeling really good about yourself in that groundedness. This is self-validation in you knowing exactly what you need and how to go about delivering it, getting it, using it those for those remedies and cures that 
I mean, it's just beautiful energy that it should show up here. And um, yeah, knowing on this 10 of clubs day that you are on the right path, just beautiful. So look to the Rahu, see what's there for you. If you pick this card and follow that string and give yourself a little more information to go on. So as a whole, under this 10 of clubs day, we're really going to be paying attention to what is in our Venus position and follow that for the most part here, that and the ecliptic. We're going to be really looking at those two cards and understand that we're going to get some piece of the puzzle. We're going to either get more questions that we end up finding brilliant answers to or questions that have been mulling around in our heads for a while now, and we're going to find the answers that we were, we were looking for. Beautiful. And we're going to do that with this a plume. <laughs> you know, we are just going to be rocking it today. I love it. A lot of work, but a lot of it paying off because that's the tens. I love it. You put it in, you are going to reap it back. Just beautiful. All right. So a little bit harder lessons for some of us, but that is where the juicy stuff is. So let's roll up our shirt sleeves and get down to it. It is going to be really a pretty brilliant day for us. Let's take a look at the birthday card. Happy birthday, 10 of clubs. I hope you're having a fabulous day and headed into a fabulous year. So let's see what this is. Timing. If you are in the creative flow, you feel everything flowing together in divine order. Ooh, how nice is that? Just kind of got to chill with that divine order. You just know you're on the right path. You, as a ten of clubs, just out there doing what you do best, happy in the work, loving the work, watching your, your fortune grow, whether that be in love or you know whatever abundance is there for you, whatever you're craving and working toward, just put in that effort and you get the reward. And it is a divine flow. It's a divine order of things flowing together. So for you, let's see what you got for the spirit and nature. Jack of spades. Interesting. So the jacks are really fast-paced energy that in this case is about you. You taking the high road rather than the, the low road because you don't want to get stuck in that energy of uh, doing it for yourself or doing it in a controversial way. The Jack of Spades, you want to be really careful about how you, how you go about you. It's interesting in that it's not an easy card. You're going to be challenged and challenged with doing the right thing in the right way. You're going to be mirrored with having that energy of being invited into possibly controversial ways of doing things when you know this might be a little tougher to take the high road and do it in the high vibe, do that because that is where you fill the coffers. You are going to replenish the well. And every time you do something in the right way, in the right direction, for the right reasons, you are going to feel so good about yourself that you are going to have an abundance of energy to draw from when it's time to manifest. It will feel like it's flowing. 
right? The divine flow for the divine order of things. You are creative in the best way possible. So yeah, you know, I don't know, I don't remember talking about the, uh, the, the shadow attributes of a 10 of clubs, but it could be being stubborn and being judgmental. It, it, it's kind of a, a low self-esteem vibe. So depending on where you are as a 10 of clubs, you know your triggers Those are the things that are to be improved upon. So if you can do that, you are, you've got it going on because you are looking at a really nice, big upgrade if you can do it. And that's good for the manifesting for sure. All right, let's see what you get for the wishcraft card. Shield of Crystals, I am loved and protected. Yeah, so go and get something that really speaks to you. You, as a third deacon Cancerian with that moon energy, you who likes to think outside the box, likes to change things up every once in a while, you have that that strength, that tendency to let your imagination really blossom in that inner you world. It's where you find your creativity. So for you, you know, I would suggest going and getting a moonstone that is calling to you. If you've got like a rainbow moonstone, they are just so gorgeous and it hits all the chakras and you can keep it in your pocket and just when you need to ground and get back into that gravity that is the best place to be springing forth from because you're under that Neptune subruled as well. So it could be a little elusive for you. So you want to ground into it and whatever grounding looks like to you, um, whatever crystal that you would like, I would go and do that because that is where you are going to feel really guided on this expedition that you are being invited on for this upgrade that is really going to be quite something for you. Love it. All right. Well, happy birthday, Ten of Clubs. I hope this works out for you really well. And for everyone, Carpe Diem, seize this day, be kind, be curious, and as always... Happy creating.